Uh, thank you very much, Frankie and Nadira. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafi al-anbiya wal mursaleen. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening. This is Alina Ali with my colleague Alan Shem reporting live from the Royal Banquet Hall of Istana Nurul Iman for the Majlis Prasanta Pandiraja or Royal Banquet Ceremony on the occasion of the Royal Wedding between His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen, Ibn His Majesty Sultan Haji Hasnal Bolkiah Mu'izzadin Wadawla and Yang Amat Mulia Pengiran Ana Istri Anisha Rosna Binti Adam. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us for our live English commentary right here on RTB Anika. My name is Alan Shim, and as pointed out, we're coming to you live from the Balai Prinsatapan, or the Banquet Hall of Istana Nurul Iman, where you can see right now the majestic venue being ready for the Royal Banquet Ceremony, which will take place very, very shortly. This, of course, is a series of events uh, commemorating the Royal Wedding between uh, his Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen and Yang Ahmad Mulia, Pengen Anak Istri, Anisha Rosna, Binti Adam, one of the highlights because there have been many, many significant events. And of course, yesterday in Brunei Darussalam, the royal couple consented to the royal procession, uh, meeting firsthand uh, members of the public, not only just from the country, Alina, but also from all over the world who have gathered and congregated in the heart of the capital, Banda Sri Begawan, to have a first look at the royal couple. Absolutely. And alhamdulillah, uh, we're only about halfway through the very first month of 2024 and we've already had the splendid opportunity to witness such a momentous occasion. Uh, undeniably, the royal wedding has garnered widespread coverage from the media, uh, both locally and internationally, as it is considered by many to be the wedding of the year, uh, which is in no small part due to the royal groom's uh, popularity from His Royal Highness's involvement in sports and his own personality and the fact that His Royal Highness often accompanies His Majesty in official ceremonies both domestically and internationally. Uh, and furthermore, the ceremonies uh, have really showcased our country's unique and highly valued cultural customs uh, with so much refinement and courtesy displayed in every aspect uh, from the royal regalia to the attire of titled individuals and the high level of grace all around from the very first event, the Royal Bursuro Ceremony. And uh, Alhamdulillah, this really drives so how important it is to value the traditions uh, we as Bruneians have inherited for centuries and uh, this has been a great way to educate the younger generation as well as the future custodians of our heritage who uh, will be tasked with the responsibility to preserve and continue this legacy uh, so that it will not disappear and uh, what I think is even more impactful is that many uh, foreign countries are able to learn about our customs uh, such as the Royal Bermuda Ceremony as this practice is not observed in other countries and these elements make the royal couple stand out even more. So looking at the live chart right now of the Balai Pansatapan at Istana no Iman where guests of the royal family have already taken to their seat and of course we will begin the event upon the arrival of their majesties as well as guests of the royal family. Now present at the moment we've got Yang Ahmad Mulia Pengian Pengian Chitriya. We also have joining us for the uh, for the royal ban uh, banquet ceremony, the cabinet ministers, members of councils, deputy ministers, pengian pengian peranakan, pin pin mantri. We've got the mantri mantri hulu balang as well as the mantri mantri pedalaman. Heads of diplomatic missions here in Brunei Darussalam, permanent secretaries heads of government departments, and also invited guests. Now, uh, Alina, speaking of traditions and customs, our viewers will notice that the guests this evening are dawn in white, because, again, this is what we've been saying. For daytime attire, it will be black in color. Meanwhile, for nighttime uh, events, they will be dressed in white, as we can see at the moment. And, of course, we get a shot of the beautiful white bouquet of flowers place at the center <laughs> Very of fitting. the table. So um, as you can notice, uh, generally the male attendees are wearing the white charam layu, uh, a 
as well as the samping or the sinjang, uh, whilst the women are wearing the white baju kurong or kebaya. And uh, you'll also notice uh, some of the uh, guests wearing mess jackets adorned with aguilettes in maroon, uh, which signify their rank as pengiran, pengiran cetria. Uh, we have the cabinet ministers with the gold aguilettes, as well as the deputy ministers with the silver, uh, and the epaulets and buttons bearing the royal emblem. Uh, also wearing the mess jackets are the pehen-pehen mantri berciri, the permanent secretaries, the heads of departments, and civil servants in Division 1. Now, this is a series of uh, events that is being conducted for the royal wedding uh, between His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen as well as Yang Ahmad Mulia, Pengen Anak Istri, Anish Shah Rosna, Binti Adam. We do have another one that's going to be taking place tomorrow, which is the recital of the Doa Slamat as well as the closing of the Gendang Jaga Jaga ceremony that is taking place Tuesday, January 16th, corresponding to the 4th of Rajab, 1445 Hijra. Now, today, though, we are, of course, partaking the royal banquet ceremony where we see uh, guests have already been seated and, again, will take place very shortly upon the arrival of their majesties. Now, of course, the one of the highlights, because tonight, I would imagine, is a very relaxed and a very enjoyable atmosphere after mm. the primary uh, custom cus primary and customary traditional parts have been done and over with uh, but of course yesterday another highlight was the royal basanding which saw the couple in being introduced to the world officially together at one event for the very first time and that of course led to the royal procession ceremony throughout the capital the heart of the capital uh, Banda Sri Begawan where thousands upon thousands of people they really went out in full force Alina mm. to make sure that they were there and they are part of this monumental occasion. Exactly. And social media has been filled uh, with posts covering and praising the royal couple, uh, seeing how perfect the royal bride and royal groom are for each other, how it's like a fairy tale come to life. And uh, as childhood friends, this uh, unique and profound connection uh, between His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen and uh, Yang Amat Mulia Pengiran Ana Istri Anisha Rosna is truly special. Uh, Yang Amat Mulia has consistently been by His Royal Highness's side, uh, actively participating participating in significant occasions together. Uh, so it's been quite a privilege to be able to witness such love and adoration. So shortly we will have the arrival of the members of the royal family to the Balai Pun Satapan at Istana Nurul Iman. And as we can see, uh, this is uh, of course uh, headed by the Crown Prince. And also that is His Royal Highness Prince Haji Amutari Billah. And Her Royal Highness, Padukasri Pengen Anak Istri, Pengen Anak Sara. We also have His Royal Highness, Prince Abdul Malik, and Yang Ahmad Mulia, Pengen Anak Istri, Pengen Rabiatul Adawiya. And some of the other guests this evening, of course, includes His Royal Highness, Prince Mohammed Bolkia. His Royal Highness, Prince Haji Sufi Polkia, and Yang Ahmad Mulia, Pengen Bini Haji Faiza, and His Royal Highness, Prince Haji Jeffrey Polkia. And there we can see at the backdrop, against the backdrop is the band, which will be playing the songs and the entertainment for this evening. We'll tell you more about that coming up in just a bit. But of course, their Royal Highness is also being accompanied by invited guests of the Royal Family to the Royal Banquet Ceremony at the Balai Pansatapan of Istana Nurul Iman. And here we can see some of the other guests also part of the attendees this evening, including Her Royal Highness Princess Haja Rashida Saadatul Bokia, Her Royal Highness Princess Haja Majida Nurul Bokia, Her Royal Highness Princess Haja Hafiza Surul Bokia.
I think this shot, Alina, really just shows you how opulent and grand this royal banquet ceremony is, befitting the status of their royal highnesses on this very, very special occasion. And you can also see that members of the international media, they are trying to get their best shots as well amongst the local media as well, because it's all about that money shot, which will pretty much propel them to stardom when exactly. you get that one shot. That's all you need, right? Mm. Now, the members of the royal family consenting to take their seats as we await the arrival of their majesties and also their royal highnesses and invited guests of the royal family. His Royal Highness, Prince Mohammed Bolkia, and we have His Royal Highness, Prince Haji Sufi Bolkia, and also Young Ahmad Mulia, bring in Bini Haja Faiza. His Royal Highness, Prince Haji Jeffrey Bolkia. And Her Royal Highness, Princess Haja Rashida Saadatul Bokir. Her Royal Highness, Princess Haja Majida Nurul Bokir. We have Her Royal Highness, Princess Haja Hafiza Surul Bolkia. And we have Her Royal Highness, Princess Azima Nikmato Bolkia. Her Royal Highness, Princess Fazila Lubapo Bolkia.
Her Royal Highness Princess Haja Masna. Her Royal Highness Princess Haja Amar Umi Kalsum Al Islam. Other members of the royal family as well. And you can see against the backdrop there, that is the band that my colleagues were talking about a little bit earlier, uh, Frankie and Nadira. The band, of course, comprised of the Royal Brunei Armed Forces, the Royal Brunei Police Force, Radio Television Brunei, also Stella School and Drudong International School. So it is a really white combination and of different ages all coming together for this very, very special event. And we have the arrival now of His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen and Young Ahmad Mulia Bringan Anak Istri Anisha Rosna Binti Adam. Absolutely gorgeous. Paduka Suri Baginda Sultan Haji Hasanal Bolkia Mu'izzaddin Waddaullah Ibn Almarhum Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin Sa'dul Khairi Waddin Sultan dan Yudhi Pertuan Negara Brunei Darussalam Dan ke bawah duli yang maha mulia Paduka Suri Baginda Raja Isteri Pengiran Anak Haji Saleha Binti Almarhum Pengiran Pemanca Pengiran Anak Haji Muhammad Alam Beserta Kerabat Diraja and that was, of course, the announcement marking the arrival of His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al Bolkia, Mu'izza Din Waddawla, Ibn al Marhum, Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin, Sa'adul Heriwaddin, the Sultan and Yang Dipertuan of Brunei Darussalam, and Her Majesty Duli Raja Istri, Pengiran Anak Haji Saleha, Binti al Marhum, Pengiran Pemanca, Pengiran Anak Haji Muhammad Alam, and members of the royal family. And among some of the guests includes His Majesty Sri Paduka Baginda the 16th, Yang Dipertuan Agong of Malaysia, Their Majesties from the Kingdom of Bhutan. And here we see the newly married royal couple. just can't help but to uh, smile looking at them. <laughs> and I think likewise they can't help but to smile looking back at the sea of people who have turned up mm. to their events, especially tonight, a very meaningful one, the Royal Banquet Ceremony that is taking place at Balai Pansatapan of Istana Nurul Iman. These are just some of the guests of the royal family joining the royal banquet ceremony.
Now, among some of the other guests joining us for the Royal Banquet Ceremony, we have from the Philippines, from Malaysia, we've got the different states as well, including Selangor, Perak, Kada, Tringanu. We have guests from Singapore. And going back to Malaysia, we also have Sabah, Pahang, Johor, Sarawak, and countries like Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Bahrain, really an international event all turning up for the royal wedding ceremony between His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen and Yang Ahmad Mulia, Pengen Anak Istri Anisha Rosna Bidiyadam. That's right. And uh, this really reminds us that the wedding ceremonies held over the last week or so uh, go beyond the celebration of a union. Uh, they underscore the importance of diplomacy, unity and friendship. And we can see now their majesties from the Kingdom of Bhutan. Also part of the invitation by the royal family to join in the royal banquet ceremony. But of course, we also have to mention that they were here Allah, yesterday as well. Oleh yang berhormat, Pendatu Seri Maharaja, Datu Beruka Seri Setia, Dr. Ustaz Haji Awang Abdul Aziz bin Junid, Mufti Kerajaan. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen Sayyidina wa maulana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Wa tabi'ihim bi ihsanin ila yawmiddin Allahumma arzuqna min rizqika al-halal al-tayyib al-mubarak ما تصون به وجوهنا عن التعرض إلى أحد من خلقك اللهم اجعل لنا إليه طريقا سهلا من غير التعب ولا نصب ولا منة ولا تبعة لأحد وجنبنا اللهم الحرام حيث كان وأين كان وعند من كان اللهم يا حليم يا كريم 
Mohon supaya dikurniakan majelis persentapan di raja ini penuh dengan keberkatan yang turun daripada langit dan terpancar keluar daripada bumi. Mohon dikurniakan juga ya Allah rezeki yang halal dan luas lagi diberkati. Rezeki mata benda, rezeki makanan dan minuman, rezeki sehat tubuh badan, rezeki panjang umur dalam ketaatan kepada Tuhan kami. Rezeki ketenangan dan kegembiraan pada hati senubari dan rezeki iman serta takwa yang mantap terhadap Tuhan kami. Allahumma mohon ya Allah kebahagiaan dunia dan akhirat bagi raja kami. Ke bawah duli yang maha mulia Paduka Sri Baginda Sultan Haji Hasan Al-Bulqiyah Muizzuddin Maddaulah Ibn Al-Marhum Sultan Haji Umar Ali Saifuddin Sa'adul Khairi Waddin Sultan dan yang dipertuan negara Brunei Darussalam Ke bawah duli yang maha mulia Paduka Sri Baginda Raja Istri Pengiran Anak Haji Salehah Binti Almarhum Pengiran Pemanca Pengiran Anak Haji Muhammad Alam Serta ahli kerabat sekalian Khasnya pengantin diraja yang diraihkan Duli yang teramat mulia Paduka Sri Pengiran Muda Abdul Matin Ibni ke bawah Duli yang Maha Mulia Paduka Sri Baginda Sultan Haji Hasan Al-Bulqiyah Mu'izzuddin Waddaulah dan yang amat mulia pengiran anak istri Anisha Rusnah binti Adam serta sekalian yang hadir semoga sama-sama berkongsi rahmat dan inayah Allah serta pemeliharaannya fallahu khairun hafizan wa huwa arhamur rahimin Allahumma lakal hamdu hamdan kathiran ghaira makfi الحمد لله الذي أطعم من الطعام وسقى من الشراب وكسى من العرى وهدى من الضلالة وبصر من العماية وفضل على كثير ممن خلق تقديلا اللهم بارك لنا فيما رزقتنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين تقبل الله منا ومنكم Amin Ya Rabbal Alamin. And that was the Do'a Selamat or prayer to ask for safety and protection recited by Yang Berhormat Bihin Datu Sri Maharaja Datu Paduka Sri Setia Dr. Ustaz Haji Awang Abdul Aziz, the State Mufti. So just short of 9 o'clock in the evening here, Brunei time. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us right here on RTB Anika. It's Lina Ali together with myself, Alan Shim, providing you the live commentary in English. Uh, this is for the Royal Banquet Ceremony for the Royal Wedding of His Royal Highness, Prince Abdul Mateen and Yang Ahmad Mulia, Pengen Anak Istri, Anisha Rosna Binti Adam, that is taking place as we speak at the Balai Pensatapan of Istana Nur Iman on this January 15th, corresponding to the 4th of Rajab. 1445 Hijra. We have just seen the arrival of their majesties as well as guests of their majesties and shortly the orchestra will start playing. Uh, of course, the songs are selected by the royal couple and then once again, these are made up from the Royal British Armed Forces as we can see from the members of the band at the moment or the orchestra that is playing and they're also from the Royal British Police Force 
from Radio Television Brunei, from the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports, from Stella School and Jurong International School, all joining forces this evening to mesmerize and entertain the guests at the Royal Banquet Ceremony.
And that was a beautiful rendition of Smarak Pangantindi Raja as arranged by the Royal Brunei Police Force Band.